My name is Teresa Kershaw. I'm a visual artist living and working in Ketchikan, Alaska. I grew up here and on some of the surrounding uh, remote logging camps on Prince of Wales Island. Nowhere ever really felt like it was home. I just recently moved back with my family and feel so lucky to be living here again. Okay, my name is John Maloof. I live in Ketchikan, Alaska. I've uh, been coming to Ketchikan since 91. I'm an avid beach comber, and that's what I live for. And to, to accomplish that, I have a couple businesses to pay my bills. I have the Ketchikan Duck Tour, which was started in 2001. I harvest dive for sea cucumbers duck clams, and I used to do sea urchins. Hello, my name is Jillian Maloof, and I've been in Ketchikan for uh, 24 years. We were entering our 20th season in the tourism industry when COVID hit. If you've ever spent any time in Alaska, it becomes a part of you. There's this incredible, haunting, beauty and wildness that just sticks to your soul. Every time you turn around, you see something that just reminds you of how lucky you are. In a way, COVID's been okay for me. In the beginning, it was pretty drastic, except for my studio. I didn't leave my house for a solid seven months. Since COVID hit, we were shut down. We were, we had a full staff hired of probably almost 40 people ready to run the summer. And then had to tell everybody there was no jobs, no season. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to make it through, trying to survive. We got uh, we got five of these amphibians just sitting around doing nothing. So we're trying to go down and see if we can do a Seattle startup and do a Seattle splash trip. We were in Washington at the time, and things were just so chaotic. People were scrambling to stock up and hole up. So I ended up packing up and moving right in the middle of a pandemic to be closer to family. There's something about Ketchikan, the community here is just incredible and just a real sense of people leaning together. There's something about that that I just love and COVID's just kind of driven that home for me. Last year when COVID first hit and uh, our son was graduating from high school, and of course, everything was canceled um, from, you know, school itself to all of the activities and celebrations and traditions that come along with graduating from high school. What we did was, uh, you know, with a lot of donations and support from different businesses in the community, um, we were able to plan an amazing parade. Life isn't perfect. Everyone's dealing with their own battles, their own stuff. But to me, there's beauty in the broken. And it really just exemplifies the uniqueness of the Ketchikan community uh, that during hard times, you know, we are able to come together and we are able to be, uh, you know, super creative and industrious and um, resilient, you know, and finding, you know, new ways to operate, whether it's operate our business or uh, enjoy our community and support one another.